James Quelling. I'm in a bit of a hurry, Mr. Quelling. I want to do you a favor. I don't need any favors. Yeah, you do. Unless you want Friday's headline to read, Marathon Footwear Builds Playgrounds That Kill Children. My client builds playgrounds that help children. And uses a synthetic full of toxins to do it. Look, I don't know who you are, but I know what you're trying to do, and it isn't going to work. Look, I'm a reasonable man. This is a huge moment for your client. I won't file this before Friday. You think I'm going to let you extort my client? No, I think you're going to protect your client from a claim that could ruin them. In fact, I'm counting on it. Nice offices. Enjoy that brunch. I'm going to make it fast, Jim. James. It's not what your ex-wife calls you. She calls you Jim. That's one of the nicer names she uses. She's been calling you a lot these days. Wow, you found out I'm divorced. Well, I withdraw the lawsuit. It's not the divorce, Jimbo. It's the huge wall of mounting debt that's closing in on you since you tanked the tobacco litigation. I didn't tank it. I lost. You didn't just lose. You had an offer that would have set you up for life. And instead, you rolled the dice, went to verdict, and now you got nothing. Which is why your wife left you, and now you're coming after us with a fabricated claim. I didn't fabricate anything. I have expert reports you that prove one report of possible toxins in the playground material. And not one sick child. And you have an IPO on Friday. And if this suit appears in the journal that morning, what do you think the stock price is going to be when they ring that bell? Got me. Give me your number. 100,000, and we're done. Done. We'll drop the paperwork. I've got it right here. But one thing. This precludes you from representing any other plaintiffs with the same action. You got me. I have 100 other plaintiffs waiting in the wings. That's a $10 million hit you just avoided. I tell you what, give me a million, and we're really done. James, this covers your debts and gets you out from under. You think that means I'm going to take less than it's worth? It isn't worth anything. It is today. You know where to reach me. I thought you said you were willing to go as high as 500000 Yeah, that was before I realized what we were dealing with. This guy doesn't owe money because he got divorced. He got divorced because he owes money. What are you talking about? He's a gambler. How does that help us? He doesn't know I'm one. You were right. Quelling's got a game. What night? Every night. Well, I hope you know where tonight's game is, because... Great. Mm -hmm. You and I are going. Um, it... What? I got a job offer, Harvey. I'm supposed to go have drinks to talk about it tonight. Um, I can move it. It's just that's... That's why I hesitated. When? When what? When'd you get the job offer? The other night. And you didn't mention it. Well, I didn't know what I thought. Now you do? No. It's, uh... Who? Jonathan Sidwell. The spin-off idea. Yeah. I should have known. He wants you to be his general counsel? No, he wants to make me an investment banker. Well, if it were me, I'd take it. What? Why? Because you can compete there like you do here with nothing hanging over your head. What if I don't want to stop being a lawyer? Well, then don't take the job. I mean, what do you want from me? I want your advice. I just gave you my advice. No, you told me what you would do. I want to know what you think I should do. Mike, last week, you said you'd do anything to stop being a fraud. So my advice is take it. Still be in the majors, just be a different sport. give it a try. Buy-in is 25,000. What's the limit? There is no limit. Maybe I am out of my limit. Ooh, 
raise 45,000. I'm putting you all in. I've seen guys like you before. You think if you bully me with your big stack, I'm gonna run and hide. Here's the difference between you and me, Jimbo. I lose, I pull out another 25 grand, and another 25 after that. You lose, you got nothing. You're bluffing. Then call, or get up and walk away. But I've sat across from you a thousand times before. You won't walk. Tough beat. Take your winnings. What winnings? I'm not dropping my suit when you're going public in two days. James, you've read all about Hessington Oil. The odds were stacked against me. I won anyway, because I win. You won because Edward Darby came forward. You got lucky. Guys like you always think other people get lucky. I don't get lucky. I make my own luck. And in this case, it's bleeding you dry. Right there. You just gave me your tell. You have no other money. You're done. There's $100,000 in that pot. It's the exact amount of the deal we offered you. Sign it. We'll fix the paperwork tomorrow. This is $1,000. Cash me out. He doesn't play anymore the rest of the night. I know you're there. You need anything? No. The IPO's wrapped up. We go public Monday morning. I wasn't talking about the IPO. I was talking about how you're feeling about Mike. I know. Okay. Good night, Harvey. I'm gonna tell Scotty. About Mike? Are you crazy? You can't have it both ways, Donna. You can't tell me to open up and then keep my secrets. You spent more than a year covering it up. You tried to get him to commit another crime to cover it up, and now You you're... said I should tell her what's really bothering me. I meant your feelings. I didn't mean confess to a felony. These are my goddamn feelings. Donna, I did something when I hired him. It's caused all of this. I can't tell her, and it's driving me f crazy. OK. Look, Mike is gone, Harvey. I hate that he's gone, but the Jeopardy's gone, too. It's done. And now you want to turn around and tell someone who. Someone who what? No, you better finish that sentence. Someone who's pissed at you, Harvey. Someone who keeps finding a reason to be pissed at you. And it's not the third time, and it's not the fifth time, and it's not the last time. I thought you were trying to help my relationship, not shit on it. OK, you want to yell at me? Fine, because I know you're not mad at me. And I know you're only telling me this stupid idea because you want me to tell you what you already know. You can't, Harvey. It's good that you want to, but you can't. Can I have a minute? Congratulate me. Officially a member of the New York Bar. You went to Lola? I made a mistake. I want to stay.